Hello everyone, Matt Glynn here. I'm just going to run over the running bowline. So if you've seen the video, I'm just showing you basically how to tie a bowline. This is a variation on it, the running bowline. And basically all it is, is that the standing end of the rope passes through the eye and it means that you can kind of set a, a, a bowline on, on a line from the ground and you can cinch it up on logs when you're rigging, that sort of thing. So it's quite simple really once you've got the um, the bow line done which I've got here. This is the basic uh, bow line. So the, the working end there as you can see basically through that that eye. That's what it'll look like when you've when you've tied it. I'm just going to show you what that looks like and then get ahead and, and tie one. So as you can see that the rope moves and the knot moves up and down that rope now. So that, that is the reason behind it being called a running bow line. I'm going to try and demonstrate here what it looks like on this very small branch normally if we was so rigging this branch off and um, probably just use a sling but you can see that I've tied the knot over the top of it the tail end of the rope is um, probably a little bit long but that's irrelevant really but you can kind of see as you pull on the working end it pulls the knot round and it just cinches up against the branch this can be used as a to install a, a pull line you can use as a canopy tie for SRT and you can also use this knot as well as a base anchor for, for SRT as well. So to tie the knot, it's very similar to just doing a normal bow line. I'm just going to try and demonstrate on this, this uh, branch for you. So the rope you can install from the ground over a branch. It doesn't have to be, you know, it depends what application you're using this knot for. But I'm going to imagine that this is the top of the tree. And then we're going to tie the knot, knot at the bottom. So do our loop like we normally would with a, um, a bow line, but instead of going straight underneath, like, like I explained in the other video, through the rabbit hole, around the tree and back through, now that would just be a regular bow line if we set and dress that. What we do is we want to incorporate the running part of the line. So we create the loop and then go around that running part. Depending on which way you tie it, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, uh, which way you do the loop will depend on what the knot looks like when you've set and dressed it, when it once you've uh, tightened it up. So you'll need to just practice and try a few different ways depending on what works best for you. I always tie it this way, so um, it depends on how you, how you want it to look. As you can see, the knot there will be forced against the tree as you pull it up. If you want the knot more on the outside, the opposite way around, then you have to do the knot the opposite way around. So you pull on the working end, it pulls the knot to the top of the tree and as you can see it's only a small branch, it doesn't look very tidy but you get the idea, it'll cinch down on, on the branch. One little tip is you can make the actual loop of the knot there at the bottom as you can see where my hand is, you can make that bigger or smaller depending on how big of a branch you're going around. So if you're going to go around a big branch you can create a, a larger loop. If it's around a small branch and you want a slightly smaller loop.